Okay, ladies, we are still in our Ariel Little Mermaid bag. I don't know, every time I see this color nowadays, I just think instantly of Little Mermaid. Maybe it's because my daughter told me in this color I look like the Little Mermaid. I don't know, but I am feeling it. Look at how beautiful the hairline is. Today is going to be a start to finish hair tutorial and this one comes courtesy of Amanda Hair. Let me get it right for you guys. They sent me over a 24 inch 250% density 13 by 4 lace wig. You guys already see I styled her up and I got her super cute. Now you see in the video I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with her. I kind of was leaning towards doing like a no parting situation which is why I got the baby hair together. I was like trying to do like no parting flip over or like straight back and give it that really good like forehead effect wasn't feeling that and then I tried to do a half up half down and I just was like I just want to wear a bust down middle part like you know I've been trying to do the most and try to give you guys different little hairstyles lately but today I just wanted a bust down middle part and then I got this cute little top from Zara it's like a mesh um I don't want to show you the goodies it's a mesh top but my order just came in and I was like it's sitting on my bed because I, I put everything on hangers but I didn't hang it up yet and I was like let's put this together for a collab so the hair is still drying it's absolutely gorgeous be sure to check it out there is a direct link in the description box and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the install video okay ladies let's jump right into it this is our gorgeous beauty here and i'm giving you a quick look at the inside construction of the cap i'm going to take a foundation this is actually a cream foundation i'm going to buff it into the inside lace this is going to go ahead and tint the lace and allow that lace product to last a little bit longer than if we do it just on top and this is what it should look like i also want to point out that they did include the adjustable straps they are in the bag and i did not need them today since we're going to bond her down with a glueless adhesive and this is what she she looks like on so today we are going for this beautiful like red color it's like a brown tone red auburn color i'm gonna go ahead and cut off a little bit of the lace not all of it just enough to be able to see and also i'm gonna cut off the excess lace around the ears that way we can work on tweezing out the hairline but we can see because sometimes you'll get a little extra lace and you're not ready to actually cut all the lace off you can just cut a little bit and work in sections now I'm going to go ahead and straighten out the hairline. I want it to be super melted and laid. Um, so I'm doing the dynamic duo and this is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. And for those who don't know, this is just going to help to, again, make the wig look more melted once it's bonded down. But also since I am going to be customizing the hairline myself, I do want to go ahead and make sure it's super straight. And this is going to make it easier to actually grab hairs as we tweeze. If I did not mention, this one is 24 inches in length. She's 250% density. And she's also a 13 by 4 lace, which means you'll get 4 inches of parting space going backwards. Here I am just taking a pair of tweezers. And I'm just taking my time and going in and just tweezing little by little, section by section. Now, I did come pre-plucked. And when you pull a little bit of hair forward, you guys did see in the beginning there was like some preset baby hair. When you pull that forward, it's a lot more apparent that it's pre-plucked. But I did want to go ahead and customize it a little bit more. Because at this point, I was thinking I was going to do like a no baby hair, like flip over type of method. Um, so I wanted to make sure that the hairline was very much plucked and gradient. And I think I did a great job next i'm going to go ahead and bond her down now this is a got to be glue spray contrary to probably have never seen it before i use this many times in the past i like it because it's convenient i can pick it up from my local target it's from the same brand as your normal got to be glue i can't remember what the exact difference with this one is but i'll have it in the description box very affordable again very easy access because my targets all of my targets usually will have this product and how I bonded it down was a little bit different than normal. I applied one coat, I allowed it to get super duper tacky, and then I applied, applied a second coat on top. This is typically what you would do with like real glue, and it does give a stronger bond so that your wig can last. If you can do two coats, two to three coats, um, when you install your wig and you let the first one get tacky, then you do a second coat and get it tacky, and then a third coat and bond it down. Typically, that's how you can get that like two to three day Glueless adhesive, but like extra hold hairspray adhesive look where like if you're going to Vegas, say for two or three days and you don't want to have to touch it up. That's how you kind of get that good hold where it's still glueless, but it's bonded down a little bit extra, if that makes any sense. So in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and just decide what we want to do for the hair. At this point, again, I had decided to do the flip over method, but I had changed my mind and decided I didn't want that. So I decided to do a half up, half down, and I wasn't quite sure, but I just knew I wanted a little bit of micro baby hair to come forward. And this is just going to give a look that like 
resonates with me. If you don't want this, you can definitely skip this step because the hairline was already flawless without this. And I just pulled the hair that I wanted forward and it's micro. So I did very thin sparse pieces. I cut them super, super short and then I applied my edge control from bdeckbeauty.com and I'm just swooping them. They're a little bit too short to like make perfect swoops, which is exactly what I want. And you can make these go in a non-uniformed way where you're just letting it go in many different directions. Once it's laid and melted, especially if you use the melt belt and let it really, really, really get melted it's gonna look so natural and so bomb never mind that little piece on the side that's not bonded down again i knew i wasn't going to be showing the size so i didn't bother to go in and bond it down but of course in a more like i'm going outside setting i would now here i am just deciding do i want to do the no parting look or do i not i'm going to continue to uh customize and style the hair before i decide on the parting space this is what it looks like when you wet it down really good and then i wet down the opposite side and i did majority of the work on ca off camera then from here i decided to do a little bit of mousse this is the lotta body which is one of my favorite mousse i like the way this one defines the curls it smells good and it has enough like product in it that it actually does something and really really gets in there and defines the curls the dimming brush is the perfect pair to go with any mousse because it definitely goes in and clumps the curls and gives you like a really really good like i got good hair if you want to say type of look opposed to like factory curls you want it to look like it's your hair and it's just really pretty now here, I still was stuck on half up, half down, and I just decided I was not feeling it. So ultimately, I did go with the center part, which you guys did see in the intro already. But again, I like to switch up my looks, so eventually I will do something different. Now, the only reason it was so hard to decide on the center part is because I've been trying to challenge myself to step out of my comfort zone, which is literally just a center part, and do different things. But it just was like, I was just, a center part was just calling me long story long and so that's what we did and it looks really good i love it paired with that hairline i did go back in with that same lace tint which is a cream foundation i'll have it in the description box but it came out super good super melted absolutely gorgeous when it curls dry it's going to be even more bomb okay so that was super fun this one came from amanda hair and they did not disappoint i will show you guys the packaging really quickly you guys already know they love the the pastel vibes with this blue tone uh gray dust bag and it does have the amanda logo right here in that pretty 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 baby pink the specs on this one i believe this is a 24 inch 13 by 4 and everything else i think i said it in the intro but you can also find all the details in the description box inside the packaging you do get this little info situation and it go it tells you like their social media handles and like cash back hair instructions stuff like that and then they also have inside there a good pack of wig caps also inside you guys did see there was like the hooks for an elastic band it wasn't already inside it was in the bag so i love that because sometimes i don't necessarily want to use it especially like today i'm bonding the wig down and then i know for a fact that nine times out of ten i'm gonna i said no for a fact that nine times out of ten that's such an oxymoron but i'm pretty much pretty sure that i'm gonna take it off because we are going to the pool later and i'm gonna shower i'm pretty gonna want to wash my hair and all of that so i don't need the last elastic band today but if we were going to like a water park or um out for the full day i probably would want it in there for extra support and then last but not least they did provide a melt belt which you guys already know these are essential for holding your wig down when you shower when you sleep when you work out when you are installing your wig and you want to get the melted effect and so much more as far as the wig goes you guys seen all of the phases of this one how it looks straight out of the box and how it looked when you first put it on you guys see i did customize the hairline and i did kind of finesse with the little micro baby hair this gives more of like a super baby hair look without doing doing the most i also got rid of the ear tabs and cut those off because you guys know i do not enjoy extra sideburns in the summertime because i don't use wig glue i hope you guys enjoyed this one it was super fun and cute love the hairline i love the little top that i added with it this one comes from zara and it literally just came in my order um a few days ago so i was literally in the process of hanging it up and i was like this really does compliment i gotta do a better bra because i have on like just a regular skims bra and i need to do something that's like cuter to you know expose with some little high-waisted shorts or a little skirt or something like that since it's hot out but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video share with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches